Hey everyone, it's Kevin here with Views About Anything, and today we have the Logitech G903. Uh, some of you guys might recognize this mouse because in my G Pro Wireless video, I mentioned or slash showed that I had this mouse. Here's my current copy. Uh, it has the double clicking issue, like I mentioned in that video, and also that the G Pro Wireless I had also had. Uh, the reason I bought the G Pro Wireless was I was in the process of RMAing this one and I was towards the end of the warranty so I wasn't sure how Logitech was going to handle everything. So I kind of bought that one just to see. Also the double clicking issue on this just keeps getting worse on a daily basis so I was hoping to just have another mouse until I get this one RMAed or just keep that one and do whatever. But uh, to my surprise I picked up the package today and opened it and here we have a brand new in the cellophane uh, mouse here. So uh, what I'm going to do since I didn't unbox it before, I'm going to do a quick unboxing and uh, let you guys know how this, or let you see how this is. So you don't need the knife for this one, which is nice. At least I don't think so. In the box, uh, the top of it has a little bit of foam tape right here, and it's a mold. This is just a plastic, hollow, uh, somewhat soft plastic mold of the top of the mouse, pretty much. And then the mouse is sitting in a mold of the bottom of itself. Uh, on the bottom here, it's covered in uh, plastic to protect the feet and the sensor and switches and stuff. So I'll put that to the side real quick, see what else comes in here. We have that plastic again, recycled parts, how the mold looks. Got a big Logitech G sticker. All right. We have uh, just some, thanks for choosing Logitech G Pro, or the G line. Um, what's in the box, setup guide, important safety stuff. And then in here we have our uh, braided cable with the proprietary Trident style micro USB. Uh, and then in the little box here, we have a weight, which I don't know why anyone would add since this is already a heavy mouse, a extender, and the receiver. And then an extra set of buttons and an extra blank for, since this is an ambidextrous mouse, they let you choose left or right hand and they also give you a blank. So that's nice. I actually don't remember where I placed this, so it's nice to have another set like that. I don't use the weight or anything, but still nice to have. I rarely ever use this cable because I just use whatever micro USB is lying around on my desk uh, now. I guess I'll probably start using that one since this is a new one. Um, and then, like I said, the weights of, honestly, a waste of time. The mouse is already 100 in, 10 grams, so it's not the lightest thing on the planet. Uh, so, let's put this stuff to the side real quick and look at the two mice next to each other. Uh, like I said, they're both the same. So they obviously look the same here, if you guys can tell. Um, mine has a little scuff right here, I don't know if you will see on the camera just from it getting knocked on my desk, but other than that, pretty much the same. One thing I wanna see is one thing on my model right here is this right click. It might be hard to see, maybe if I show it from the front here. But this, yeah, it's probably not gonna show up very well, unfortunately for you guys, but there you go. There's a lot of slop in this right click. The left, I'm gonna do the same thing, not the same. So something with where it's held down here, or maybe the switch, or some of the plastics on the inside, I don't know, I haven't torn apart this mouse yet. I did have to mess up the sensor uh, I jammed it with a screwdriver because Logitech, instead of you sending back the product, obviously they just send you a new one, so they ask you to make sure this one doesn't work anymore. So, 
yeah, I, I might actually do a teardown of this video, uh, teardown of this and make a video on it. If you guys are interested, let me know. I might just do it anyways. But like I said, this one, you can also hear a lot of slop in it. Where this one, it's not really the same. So let's see how this one is. It's pretty similar. But they feel the same at least. This one's a little better than my coffee. And they feel about the same, which is nice. The wheel feels good. Shaking it feels good as well. You shake this one. Yeah, so like I said, there's something loose in, in here. And I'll take it apart and we'll see. But it's been a good mouse besides the double clicking issue. So hopefully this one won't happen with this one. It's a brand new model. Supposedly even the new ones are still using the same Omron 50 million click switches. So, and those lower ones having the issues with double clicking. <clears throat> so we'll see. I know some people have R made this mouse like three times and then they end up getting a different mouse from Logitech instead. Uh, so we'll, like I said, we'll see. The G Pro that I had, you know, it had a couple, it had two or three double clicking issues within the first week and a half of owning it or so. So I, you know, not to be a pessimist or anything, but I don't have a whole lot of hope <laughs> for this to not have the same issue, but we'll see maybe, you know, I, there's some people that never have the issue with the G903, uh, the G703 and the G Pro. So uh, I know a lot of people main those mice and they have no issue. So hopefully this is one of those mice. Um, if not, uh, I will make a video on it again and, you know, see where Logitech wants to go further with that. But yeah, this is the simple unboxing and kind of quick overview of the mouse. What you get in the box and everything, obviously, and in comparison to a mouse that is having this horrible issues. So like I said, I will make an update video on this one, let you guys know, and I'll make a teardown of this one so you guys can see the inner workings of it and also show you the... Uh, the faulty switches. Uh, I know people on the G Pro will place the switches, but from what I've seen online of this mouse tore down by uh, Lions Tech Tips and Gamers Nexus, I believe. I think it was the G900, not the G903, but they're very similar mice. So replace these switches seem like quite the pain, but you know, we'll see when I open it up. If it's not gonna be that bad, I might do that and just see how the mouse feels afterwards. Um, Cause I know some people put some kale switches in there and they get a lot more life out of their G Pro because G Pro is pretty simple to actually do that with. So, but yeah, I uh, just want to make this quick video for you guys. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.